All right, so now in this next example, we, we have uh, matching graphs to a situation. Um, it says Grace, Jet, and Mike are studying 100 words for a spelling bee. Hey, that's an interesting. We just had a spelling bee here. Um, it said Grace started learning started by learning how to spell many words each day, then learned fewer and fewer words each day. Um, Jet learned how to spell the same number of words each day. Mike learned by um, no, Mike started by learning how to spell a few words each day, but then learned a greater number of words each day. So what we got to do is match who does what. So um, let's look at this, and then we'll answer the questions. Um, Grace, I'm going to, let's, let's choose blue for Grace. So for Grace, she learned how to spell many words each day, but learned fewer and fewer as time went on. Which one is that? Is that A, B, or C? B. Yes. So this is Grace. Um, let's do Jet. Jet learned the same number of words each day. Which one's Jet? A. A. Constant rate of change, right? Does that make sense? And then Mike, um, he learned a greater number towards the end. He learned a few words in the beginning and then a greater number at the end. Yeah, it has to be B by default, but it made the graph make sense when you look at it, right? So it says, now we just got to kind of write this down in the thing. It says, describe, you guys be quiet. It says, describe what's represented in graph A. So how would we describe that? Oh, you know what? I wrote the names down. They're supposed to go here. So this is, um, this is Jet. This is Mike. And this is Grace. Sorry. Um, it says describe the progress represented in a. Um, uh, this is a constant rate. Remember, I said a constant rate of change is a straight line. So that's linear. It's the same amount every time. Um, describe what's represented in B. Now, B kind of grows. Uh, well, from your perspective, it would go like this. But that's a. it starts off as a shallow curve. Um, that gets steeper over time. So that would be, um, rate of change increases. In other words, the first day they learn two words, the second day they learn three words, by the last day they learn a lot of words. So they're increasing. Um, C, you would just say rate of change does what? It, it goes rate of change does what? It increases and then stays steady. Well, the rate of change decreases. Wait, which one did you say? I'm talking about oh, graph C. My bad. So, in other words, for B, if I look at graph B, it curves up. The rate of change increases. For graph C, it tends to curve down. So, notice that the rate of change increases or decreases. A, the rate of change never increases nor decreases. And now what I'm talking about is, is it a slope? In other words, the steepness of this curve becomes more and more steep. So this is the same steepness this one becomes more steep and this one becomes less steep.
Okay, so now for finally for D, it says determine which graph represents each student's study progress. Write the names under the appropriate graph. We already did it. What would it mean for the graph to slant downward? Yes. Well, they were forgetting words. Well, does that make sense to you guys? Yes. Uh, checking the thing, probably not. 